Hello class, hello professor, my name is Andy Gutierrez and today I will be presenting why you should go on a quick run, a short run, a long run. It is very important to maintain physical activity to prevent certain diseases and running is one of the best exercises you can do. Running is a terrestrial locomotion allowing humans and other animals to move rapidly on foot we there is a lot of benefits to running like one of the one of the greatest ones is that any almost anyone can do it and you can do it anywhere so you don't have to go to certain places or anything you can just go right on the street where you live so it is very important to avoid injuries and this means to have some decent sh running shoes it doesn't have to be the most expensive pair but it, it does have to be like um, shoes that are made for running. These are mine. These are the ones that I use for my runnings and they're super effective. Um, I also wear comfortable clothes so, you know, your pants aren't falling and or your shirt is irritating your skin through the contact. So that is an important tip. We have to remember that um, running keeps your mind sharp. So it helps decreases the curve age-related mental decline. It also, according to the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease, people who run 50 miles per week had 40% lower risk of developing Alzheimer and dying from it. It's good for your joints, contrary of what many people believe. Running um, strengthens your knees. And according to research from Stanford University made in California, they found that recreational runners showed less wear and tear of their joints and high bone mineral density from this exercise. Something that is inedible in in modern days is stress. Stress um, is the cause of many illnesses and mental and, and physical illnesses. So jogging, running, and doing mild exercise help, help improve mental health by facilitating oxygen supply to the brain and eliminating waste products from their body. So you run, you reduce stress, and you improve your health. Running increases longevity. According to the article and study, running as a key lifestyle medicine for longevity found that um, runners, in, runners had, had 3.2 years longer life expectancy than people who didn't do this exercise um, running is protective against cardiovascular disease and cancer which are two major death causes in developed countries like the u.s and running may be the most cost-effective lifestyle medicine from public health perspective more important than other lifestyle and health risk factors such as smoking obesity and diabetes there is a lot of um, benefits, health benefits, um, according to this article, and different different systems of the body. For example, in the cardiovascular system, running improves cardiovascular cardio respiratory fitness. It decreases resting heart rate and it decreases blood pressure, which helps with which helps prevent coronary heart disease, stroke, and hypertension on the met metabolic system. It increases plasma and glucose uptake and regulation. It, it increases insulin sensibility. It lowers triglycerides. It lowers body fat. And this prevents type 2 diabetes, hyperlipidemia, and obesity. On the musculoskeletal side, more bone density, less osteoarthritis and less disability so this prevents sarcopenia osteoporosis and as i said on the neuropsychiatric side less depressive symptoms and less cog and increases cognitive function so this prevents alzheimer prevents depression and this leads to longevity there are certain limitations to running because some people, due to orthopedic or other medical conditions, they cannot um, practice, but most of us can. 
And if you can, I would highly encourage you to do it. You should always be aware of injuries. Don't exceed yourself. Eat well, rest, um, drink plenty of water, and you should be fine. And if you have the opportunity, trust me that um, running is a really great exercise that anybody can do. Thank you and have a good day.